When you burn an image into your mind, you will eventually get the essence of that image coming into your life. When you burn an image, whatever that image is for for your life, when you think about something over and over and over again, you will eventually get the essence of that image, whatever you burn in your mind, flowing into your life. And this is really the idea behind smart visualization, which comes from the mind. You don't have to be extraordinarily strong or tough or born with a silver spoon in your mouth to get results. And you know this down deep. We're we're talking about the power of the mind. It's extraordinary. And I'm going to teach you in this conversation, train you in this video, how to use smart visualization to get results. And we all want results. So let me ask you a question. What what result do you want in your life right now? I, I don't know what it is. Think, think about what you've been thinking about. Maybe it's the girl or the car or a house or to get your mortgage paid off. Or you want a bunch of peace in your life or a loving neighborhood or you want a decision made at work. Pick a result so that we can go through this uh, and help you to the best uh, of your ability based on the result that, that you want. Okay, you got it? You got to have whatever that result is. As soon as you get it, we're ready to move on. Okay, we're just going to move on. Forget it. Dr. Abigail Brenner, uh, who is an MD and a psychiatrist, so very studied, very learned, and very practical out in the field, she talks about how visualization is so well-researched and is proven to help people transcend Okay, this is unbelievable. To transcend their own perceived limitations. Now, what does that mean? It means that you and I and all everybody on the planet has perceived limitations about what we think we can and what we think we can't do. And we've trained and conditioned our brains to accept what we think are our limitations. And that's why you get the same results year after year after year after year. It's why children repeat the behaviors and patterns after their parents. It's why people stay in a bad relationship, why you can't get out of the dead-end job, why uh, employees never break through to something more of their dream work or their dream life. It's why some people can't find the love of their life, why the middle class continues to believe the lies of the middle class, because the brain only knows what it knows. It's kind of like fleas in a bucket. If, If you've ever seen fleas in a bucket... They are down there and they will jump high, I mean really high, and they will jump out of the bucket to their freedom, to wherever they want to go in their little flea life. (laughs) And uh, if you put a lid on that bucket, the flea will bump its head against the lid. And it will do it so many times until it says, you know what, this this thing's not working anymore. So it adjusts its jump to just below the lid. And then, this is crazy, once you take off the lid, the flea doesn't know the lid has been taken off, and so it continues to jump to just below where the lid was, and it remains stuck in the bucket because it's conditioned its little flea brain to be a part of the circumstances that it saw or felt because it bumped its head and didn't want to bump its head anymore, and that's what happens to us? Your brain's so much bigger than the flea brain, but you've bumped your head so many ch- times trying to do different things that you say, you know, I'm just going to stay right here. You don't want to necessarily stay where you're at, right? You want another result in your life. We all want to continue to grow. That's a really good thing because when we grow, we can give back. And what's happened is we've con- been conditioned somewhat without you being aware without me being aware. We've been conditioned by our parents. You know, don't don't talk to strangers. I mean, really? The stranger's where I'm going to find the love of my life. Don't talk to strangers. Really? Because that's where the clients are. Don't talk to strangers. Really? Because that's who has the money. Don't talk to strangers. Really? Because that's where I have extraordinary friendships is meeting new people. But eventually, we get burned by somebody and we condition ourselves and we stay in our little buckets. Or schools have conditioned us. Only raise your hand when you have them something important to say. Don't just be creative and do it. Stand in line. Don't get out of line. And so it boxes us in like sheeple or uh, politicians. You know, 
we probably shouldn't even go there. But they have conditioned us. Religion, don't do this, don't do that, don't do this, don't do that. And we get from bombarded from all sides from a very early age, right? You're just crawling, man. You're just trying to walk. And people are like, Johnny, don't go that way. Don't, don't do this. Be careful, be careful, be careful. And before we know it, we have been conditioned. Our neuro associations have linked up. And now we just stay in that bucket because we've hit our head so many times. Smart visualization is your way out. It's your ticket out, man. Uh, Dr. Brenner says that we all operate from our own perspective, our own point of view, which is a reality we see in our mind that we feel comfortable with. So we operate in our in a brain base. Let's call it a brain base, a foundation that's comfortable for us. But she goes on to say that we can alter that point of view and perception and perspective. Uh, with visualization, and that's where your breakthroughs are going to come from. Unfortunately, too many people are trying to use visualization. Uh, in fact, everybody uses visualizations. You have images in your mind all the time of what you want, uh, but you're just not being consistent. You, so what I'm going to show you here isn't adding to your schedule. It isn't adding an hour, even five minutes to your day. In fact, I'm going to save you time because your brain and your images are so scattered that you're staying stuck because you're not using smart visualization to get where you need to go if you want to get that preferred result, whatever that result is for your life. And don't worry about what other people say about your result because it's your life. Don't let them be the judge and jury of your life. But unfortunately, too many people are using either random visualization or what I call dumb visualization. There's all kinds of dumb visualizations. I've been guilty of it. I'm sure you have as well. One is dumb visualization is confused dumb visualization, which is where you have an image in your mind. You, you can kind of see it's nebulous, but it's unclear, unfocused. It's, fa- it's fuzzy. And, uh, and so that keeps you stuck year after year after year because you don't know how to go about doing that or getting that, that result. And in fact, I've created a, a clarity chart where you can get 100% clarity within seven days. And I give you seven different strategies. And maybe I'll put a link under here. You can always go to my website to find that and, and I'll send it to you. I mean, it's, a, it's an amazing, you, get, you have to have clarity. It amazes me that, that people go year after year and they don't have clarity. They don't know exactly how to specify what they want and how to get there. And that that, that sucker will help you. That, so that's one is dumb, dumb visualization. Two is, uh, is or one, one was uh, confused visualization. The other one is wishful, dumb visualization. Wishful, dumb, uh, dumb visualization is where you see the image in your mind, but you just kind of, you're in wish mode. I wish that would happen. I wish I would have an extra thousand dollars per paycheck. I wish my marriage would be better. I wish my kid and I had a good relationship. I wish we lived in a different house. I wish, and, and you just look at other people and you see, well, they're, they're that occupation. So of, of course they could have that and they do this. So of course they could have, it, but I could never have that. And all of a sudden we're in the bucket. We're in the bucket, man, and we're hitting our head on an invisible ceiling, a perceived, as Dr. Berner said, a perceived limitation. And we're left wondering with with wish visualization. Every January 1st, we get all excited, uh, and we are left wondering after a while why, why others make it and we don't. A third dumb visualization before I walk you through this process, this unbelievable thing, is deck of cards dumb visualization. Man, and that's where you just kind of believe that the deck, deck of cards isn't, isn't holding your ace. You don't, you don't have the draw four. You don't have the draw two, man. You're just asking for a skip or a reverse. Give me a reverse, man. Let me go reverse five years. You just want something. And you don't believe it's in the deck of cards down in your gut. Because you, you've tried and you bumped your head. And now the lid's off and boom. The lid was never there. Okay, The lid was never there is what we're going to find out. Uh, and there's all kinds of other dumb visualizations. But I don't want to use this training to teach you dumb visualizations because you know that intuitively. You know that there's the ways we see images that it kind of leads you there, but then you you come back. And why is that? I want to help you with that. And I want to give you smart visualization to get results because it does get results. And what I'm going to show you isn't magic. It's the power of your thoughts. It's the power of your brain because listen, we live in a thought universe. You, what you repeatedly think you end up becoming. And smart visualization, if we're going to give it some kind of definition, is that you you attract into your life what you repeatedly think about with positive expectation. 
You attract into your life what you repeatedly think about with positive expectation. And, 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 and here's, I mean, you, can, you know this. Like you think about that girl all the time. All of a sudden you're around that girl. You're around her more. You're around that guy more. You've, you've moved in the vicinity of that guy more. You think about that car over and over and over again. All of a sudden you're ordering magazines. So you're, you're drawing in the essence You're drawing in the essence of whatever that image is over time. And one way or another, you're drawing in the essence of that image. And the more you burn that image into your mind and your heart and your emotions, the more you're going to draw the essence of that image into your life more robustly. So here's the more fuller uh, definition, if I were to give it one, is that you attract into your life what you repeatedly think about with positive expectation. Because what you repeatedly think about with positive expectation gets into your emotions, gets into your heart. And what's in your heart, what's in your emotions, is the steps that you take, is the actions that you take. And the actions that you take always lead to your results. So if we were to back it up from backwards, where you're at right now, just look around at your results. Your house is your result. The kind of TV that you have is a result. The marriage that you have is a result. What you're wanting is a result, which we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to get there. Uh, your car is a result. Your bank account is a result. If I were to look in your journal where you're really honest, I would, you could show me your results and how you're feeling. Okay, So you've got results. All, everything around you is a result. And where does that res- those results come from? Your actions. Whatever actions you took, or inactions are a result of those as a result of those actions. And why did you take those actions? Back it up again because you had certain emotions. Your heart felt something. And you think it was logic, but it was in your emotions. And your emotions led to those actions which led to those results. Back it up a step further. Where did those emotions come from? The thinking cap, man. And the more you thought about something, either with negative expectation or positive expectation, you, you eventually burn that image into your life and it gets into your emotions, leaves your actions, and that's what gets you your results. Now listen, people all over the world are using, are using all kinds of visualizations. I'm ca- you know, calling this smart visualization. And other people have, have used s- stuff like this, like Jim Carrey. You know, I remember reading about when, before he made it, supposedly made it, and uh, he was going to want to be an actor and he wanted to make lots of money he wanted to make people laugh and cry and inspire people on the big screen and he just couldn't bust through and it's the same and you you think jim carrey's just supposed to make it no man he's skin he's just a human being and and he probably thought the same thing about other people but he started practicing visualization he wrote himself out a check for 10 million dollars and in in the memo line it was for acting services rendered and he you know for acting services rendered ten million dollars, and he dated it nineteen. I think it was nineteen ninety four, and he put that that check in his wallet, and he carried it with him everywhere. He took it out every day for daily inspiration, and he would drive up the uh, what is that Mulholland Drive up the mountain and sit there and overlook L A. and think about how he could inspire people, make people laugh, and make ten million dollars. Take that check out, and he would go down in the car and use incantations and prayer and think about and get it into his emotions because his thoughts, that image, he was seeing the image, it was burning into his mind and getting into his heart, which led to actions and led to results. And a little bit, lo- a little bit after that, after doing that time and time again, repeatedly thinking that, he gets this call about Dumb and Dumber and the check was for $10 million. Now, he should have been paid like $300 billion for that movie. That movie was... That movie was epic. That movie was awesome. Uh, but, I mean, you may think, well, I was so lucky. Is it? Is it really? Or is he doing something that worked? Uh, like Carrie Walsh or uh, I think her name's Misty May uh, Trainer. They're, uh, they're Olympians. They're the best duo beach volleyball team that has ever existed in world history. Like, those aren't my made-up words. That's, that's like in time and newspapers around the world the best duo beach volleyball female and females in world history they've won uh, three at least three gold medals and uh, they say this is their quote we a lot of what we do is visualization a lot of our success comes from visualization 
their house, visualize, they visualize that. Their, be, their the beach volleyball games, matches, they visualize that. Getting the gold, they visualize that. Their opponents, they visualize playing their opponents. The cars, the money, the smiles, the friendships, the success, the contributions they can set up as a result of being successful. And a lot of, a lot of us you know, have a mixed motives about success. But if you're successful, you can give back. You know, it's, if, you're not, if you're not being su successful at some level, you're selfish. Because if you can be successful, you can give back and help humanity. And that's how they see it. They are so, so successful, they can give back. And a lot of what they got them there is visualization. Or I think of uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold Schwarzenegger says that he used visualization to become the, se I think, seven-time world bodybuilding champion. The guy was huge. Seven times. That's crazy. He's the, the most successful bodybuilder also in world history. And, you know, you're, you may be stuck in a job. Say, I'm stuck. I can't get out of this. Or, I can't get out of this relationship. Or, Whatever it is for you. And you say, because that other job or that other occupation is so different from mine. But look at Schwarzenegger. He went from that to a Hollywood star. Well, it's so equal. No, it's not. Bodybuilding is so different from that. Well, he's got the body. Who cares? That's just an excuse. But Schwarzenegger says he, went, he used visualization to become a bodybuilder, visualization to become a Hollywood star, and then took a whole nother arena and became the 38th governor of California through the process of visualization. He, all he did, he quote, you know, the quote he has is, I treat the picture or image in my mind as if it's already true. So when he wasn't governor, he, he thought he was already governor. You know, when he was not a star on the screen, he thought he was already a star on the screen. When he wasn't the bodybuilding champion, he thought he pretended that he already was. It's the same with Muhammad Ali. He said, I knew I was champion before I was champion. Or the quote is, you know, he always said, I'm the greatest of all time. He said, I knew I was the greatest of all time before I knew I was the greatest of all time, before they declared me the greatest of all time. And listen, the list goes on for people who uses who use visualization, and I want to add you to that list, my friend, because I want to help you. That's all. That's the only reason why I'm doing this, is I want to help you get better. I want to help you and your family and your company or whatever do better with your life and live a more fulfilled, however you define success, however you define satisfied and fulfilled. I want that for your church. I want that for your organization. I want that for your marriage. I do. So I want to give you a step by step guide of how to get the result, whatever result that you picked for your life. Step one is this. I want you to pick a clear desired outcome, which I've already asked you to do. Now, the more clear you are on this, okay, the more clear you are, you got to have clarity. The better your result is going to be. You know how I said you draw the essence of the image into your, into your life? Well, the more clear you are on the image, the more of the essence, the more of the reality you're going to draw into your life. You won't just get around the girl. You get the girl, man. You, you'll get the essence of that uh, image. So I don't know what uh, outcome that you have, but let's just, for example's sake, in case you haven't picked one, let's just say the love of your life. You say, well, Aaron, I'm already married. Well, let's say that you just, you're having a mediocre marriage right now and you want a masterpiece of a marriage. So let's say that you want to make your marriage, the person you're married to, the love of your life again. You want to feel those feelings. You want to experience that result. And let, or let's say you're alone. You don't have somebody. You're out of a relationship. So you got that or whatever result you can follow along. That's number one. Number two is I want you to close your eyes. I mean, you can do this later. You can do it now. But I want you to close your eyes. I want you to relax. You don't have to get all weird or anything, but relax and take some deep breaths. You know, so your brain's thinking. Your brain's moving. Your heart's flowing. Your blood's flowing. You've got to get your body working for you. You've got to change your state. You gotta, so many people are getting poor results in life because their state's poor. So change your, change your uh, state to get into relaxed, deep breaths. Now, I want you to see yourself pulling into a drive-in theater. Have you ever been to a drive-in theater? It sounds more fun than it, it is, really. But you see yourself pulling into a drive-in theater. See as a, you're the only truck or car there. And on the screen, it's an HD screen. You see it, you're pulled in, it's nighttime, you're safe, don't worry about it. You breathe in, relax, you're, you're enjoying the moment. And if you're a person of faith, this is the time where you say in, the, in this process, Okay, you know what, God? I thank you for my life. I thank you for the positive intent you have for my life. And I, I pray for your guidance over this whole process.
for my life, as, as you get my brain and my heart working for the best result, for your glory, for whatever faith that you have. So that's step two. Step three is see your life, now that you're at the drive-in theater, see your life as is. So on the theater, I want you to see what's happening in your life as is. And see yourself going through the day, let's say it's the relationship, the love of your life. Well, is your life, you, maybe you see on the theater screen, you're not in a relationship, so you're sitting on the couch. You see yourself watching TV. Or you're, you're married, but you see yourself arguing. Or you see yourself kind of ignoring each other. Or you just don't care. You've grown apathetic or grown cold. What are you doing in that relationship or non-relationship? How do you feel? Just take 30 seconds. I mean, right here should only take a few seconds. You should know. And the picture, or get the clarity chart. Or here should only take about 10 seconds. You're driving in, you're relaxed, you see it. This should only take about 30 seconds. Start to feel it. What does that feel like? Get it in the bone. Uh, and then for the last 10 seconds of this 30, 30, 40 seconds, I want you to see in your mind's eye, well, you're taking this huge eraser, okay? You don't know how it fits in your hand, but it's huge. And you just go up to the theater screen and you just erase the life as is off. So you're erasing that relationship off. You're like, oh my gosh, Aaron, he's asking me to break. I'm not asking you to divorce or anything like that. Just erase the theater screen, okay? <laughs> Follow me here. Uh, and then you'll go to number four. Number four is see the desired outcome, not as is, but as if. As if this is happening. See your life, that relationship, finding the love of your life or your bank account or a car, or whatever you pick, as if it's happening in your life. Well, Aaron, that could never happen. That's your problem. Okay, you don't have positive expectation because you're afraid that you're gonna fail. Now here's the irony, and Brene Brown talks about this in one of her works is it's called foreboding joy. You won't let yourself get excited because you're afraid you're going to fail. You're afraid something bad's going to happen and then you'll be double disappointed. So you live in a state of mediocrity. You live accepting defeat already before you even tried. You live in a state of apathy. And you don't want that. You know you don't want that. So you, you got to get in some positive expectations. See this as if your life is already happening. Just try it. So you see on the screen, you've erased as is. Now you see as if you found the love of your life. Your marriage is awesome. What does that look like? Are you dancing? Are you in a party? Are you laughing? Are you making love? Are you kissing? Are you holding hands walking around the pond? Are you making money together? Are you serving the poor? What is it that makes it a master masterpiece for you? And this is positive expectation versus hoping. You don't just hope it on that. Don't see it on the screen. Say, man, I hope that happens. Say, this is happening. This is happening in my life. This is ha- it's a marriage masterpiece in my life. Because there's something called brain expectancy theory. And, and the more the image is burned into your brain, you're going to later notice that your brain's going to be saying, hey, do this. Hey, do that. Because you've burned it in. Uh, and, and I'll teach you why that happens from, from brain science here in a little bit. So that's step four. See it. What does that feel like? Allow yourself to feel the joy. Feel the, feel the happiness. See, man, I did it. I found the love of my life. I'm getting married. Or I'm, I'm celebrating my 25th anniversary and we're so happy. Or whatever it is for you, really feel it when you go through that. And you can do that in 30 seconds. So 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. You're not even at two minutes yet with your day. And you're already doing this, but your brain is so scattered that you need some consistency. And that's what I'm doing for you here, is helping your brain narrow in exactly on the result that you want so that you can get there. Then you get to step number five. Step number five is on the screen, see three people, two to three people benefiting, benefiting from your accomplishing this, from benefiting from the big win that you have. And I don't know what you're doing, but maybe you're high-fiving, dancing, celebrating, playing ball, drinking uh, a glass of wine, whatever, whatever, however you would celebrate and however they would receive the benefits, then feel that because life isn't to be lived solo. And the more you see other people benefiting from this, the more you will experience the expectancy of it happening in your life. So you want shared happiness, high fives, whatever it is for you, only about 20 seconds. Now you're up to three minutes max when we get to number six. And that is, you see in this, you're, again, you're at the drive-in theater, you're all alone, it's safe, you see the high death, and you feel it with a state of certainty. You feel that this has definitely happened for my life. 
I'm not hoping for it. I'm expecting it to happen. This will happen. I will find the love of my life. My marriage will become a masterpiece. What or whatever result that you have, I will have $100,000 in my bank account. I will, I will help the poor. I will contribute back. I will start that nonprofit. I will help my church. Whatever it is for you, so I, it is certain, that, and you see it on the screen. And then you know you don't have any self doubts because self doubts are crippling. Self doubts keep you stuck. Doubting itself keeps you stuck. And then you feel gratitude. You say, you know what? I didn't get to this earth all by myself. I think my parents, you know, I, I feel grateful for my parents, my grandparents, and my cousins. I thank God that he created all this and he's given me an opportunity to live and to breathe. You know, you take about 30 seconds just to let, let gratitude get into your soul, get into your heart, and feel good about what's going on. I mean, you can do this. It only takes a few minutes a day. You already have images in your mind, but it's distracting you. Going from here to here and pulled near this and that and this. So I'm I'm just helping you get consistent. I'm helping you be smart about it instead of confused or wish mode or a deck of cards or whatever kind of visualization that you're using because your brain is a goal-seeking organism. It's always going for something. This is going to give you a process to be able to get your results clearly. And no matter what happens as you do this and the, after you get done with it, especially when you tell people and they're like, oh, gee whiz, I don't, that's, that's like hocus pocus. That's mad. That's stupid, man. Don't worry about it. Just stay positive. Everybody's operating from their own perception, their perspective. And what they know is what they know. And here's what's going to happen. I'll tell you what happened. As you go through this process, over time, your neuro associations will begin to make new connections and links. I mean, this is brain science. This is neuroscience. Your brain is, we now know neuroplasticity. It molds and changes. The more you think about something, the more your brain rewires itself into a habit, into to doing certain things, into thinking certain thoughts, into feeling certain feelings. And so those will begin to shift as you burn that image into your heart. And, and then your brain's reticular activating system, it's just a fancy way of saying, that your brain's always looking for something, always focused on something and not everything. Your brain can't focus on everything at once because the reticular activating system exists in your brain, which allows your brain to focus rather than explode because everything's coming in out at once and you can see everything and feel everything and sense everything with all your sense and modalities at once. Your brain won't do that to protect you. So you just see certain things throughout the day. Well, if you do this day in and day out, here's what happens. Your brain begins to notice that which you have burned in your mind. So if you pick like lose 10 pounds and you drive by a gym and you've been doing this day in and day out for a few minutes, then all of a sudden you're going to feel guilty because you see the gym. Why? Because your brain's noticing it. When the weeks prior to doing this, your brain wasn't even seeing the gym. You pass it every day, but you weren't noticing it like you did. But your brain's so locked into that image of being fit, of being healthy now, that you're saying, go, you know, brain say, go do that, go do that. Same with any example that you pick. Your brain will begin to notice these things to get you motivated. It's unbelievable the wisdom that our, that our brain will give us as we burn an image into, into our mind. And then this next part, when your brain tells you to do that, do it. Take action. This is what so many people who talk about visualization leave off. You can't just sit around and say, I see an image. I see an image. Why see an image? Money fall from heaven. Where's that? <laughs> you can't just do that. But this is a process that absolutely works. You then have to take action. When your brain tells you, when it notices things, take action. Just do it. Take action, take action, take action. And what's action lead to? Results. It leads to your results. We're looking at your results, goes back to action, goes back to emotions, goes back to your brain, goes back to what your thoughts are. You know, there's a, there's a doctor, a professor up in the University of Chicago uh, called Bisciotti, and his, his name is Bisciotti, and he came up with an experiment based on visualization, a, a controlled experiment with, yeah, yeah, I got it, controlled experiment with uh, three groups of free throw shooters. And the first free throw shooters, they weren't allowed to practice for an entire month. You can't, you can't practice shooting free throws. The second group was allowed to practice, and they're supposed to practice, and they did practice every single day for 30 days. And then the third group, they just practiced visualization. They sat at home, and, they, and just for a couple minutes a day, they saw themselves making free throws. No misses, just makes. But they weren't allowed to practice, not touch one basketball. 
So he brings them in after 30 days up to the University of Chicago, prestigious university. And the first group who didn't practice at all increased by 0%. Their free throw percentage, based on what they, so before the experiment, he had them all shoot so many free throws, and he wrote down the percentage. This first group that didn't practice for 30 days did not increase in their percentage. And the second group in the controlled experiment, they shot free throws every single day, of course, and they, they increased their, their free throw percentage by 24%. Why? Because they took action every day. And, and then the third group, the group that used visualization, they increased their percentage by a whopping 23%, and they never even touched a basketball. They just sat there day in and day out and burned the image of making swish, 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 free throw after free throw after free throw in their minds. And they went out there and they increased 23%. Now, think what you could do for the result that you're looking for if you use visualization. And I'm not just talking about visualization. My process of visualization includes taking action and massive action big time action. When your brain says, hey, go do that now that you're paying attention. My reticular activating system is saying, pay attention to that. Go do that. You've been thinking about this and it's bringing and drawing in the essence of what you've burned into your mindset, into your heart. If you took visualization and you took massive action, you're, you, you would increase the essence of that into your life tenfold, big time. You can use this any time that you want any time of the day that you want. Just burn the image into your life and you will get it. Now, there, there is a time where you're most receptive for smart visualization. Uh, and that's when your brain is at the alpha state or at the alpha level of mind when you've gone from beta or waking consciousness to, to the alpha level states of mind. Or that's just fancy lingo of saying when you're really groggy or tired and you wake up in the morning like, oh, oh. I don't want to get up. <laughs> Be careful what you feed your mind there because your brain is most receptive of those suggestions at that peak, at that time. Because you get through the logic area and it goes down into your, into your emotions and your emotions lead to your actions and you get results based on that. What you want to do in those meditative or prayerful or at nighttime when you're sleepy or right before, right when you get up, is you want to feed your mind especially then what you want, your result, your smart visualization. When you do that consistently, you begin to burn the image into your mind and you know what happens from then on out. Uh, Listen, smart visualization absolutely works. Is this all that there is to maximizing your life's potential? No, but I never claimed it is. But it's a huge part of the process that people are leaving on the table. And of all the things that you could use for your toolkit, for your makeup bag to put in there as part of your arsenal, this has got to be in there. If you're at A and you're trying to get to Z in your life or whatever that result is, this will speed up the process because people are so wildly inconsistent with their thoughts, with their emotions, with, with their actions. This lines everything up congruent with your integrity to move your life forward, to get you the results that you're looking for. And even though it doesn't maximize everything about your life, if you want to maximize the potential of your life, you have to have this. If you want more for your life, you can't just keep looking at your same circumstances or using dumb visualization or wish mode visualization or deck of cards, dumb visualization, because if you just continue to look at your circumstances and your environments, that's all you're going to draw in the essence of from here on out. And you keep wondering, why the heck, why the heck is everybody else breaking through and I'm not? Because you keep looking at the same circumstances. Smart visualization will allow you to grab an image that's outside of your current circumstances and burn that into you and then your brain will give you clues oh there you go take that action take that action you've been missing that as we've been passing that on the road you've been missing that person you've been missing this you know you could do all these different things because you're constantly thinking about it you burn it in there it gets in your emotions then you take action and you get your results and that will lift your marriage, it will lift your bank account, unless you don't want any money, it will lift your spirituality, it will lift your giving, it will lift your happiness level, it will lift your fulfillment out of your current environment, out of your current circumstances. Listen, I hope this serves you today. I just want to help. That's what I'm here for. Uh, and, and I hope, w- without a shadow of a doubt, that you go out after this. You practice this every single day. That you live with much passion, that you, you find your purpose and you live with purpose. And you show much love to all those around you, wherever you go, but especially to the person that you see in the mirror. Much love. 
Hey, it's Dr. Aaron Bird, and I want to challenge you to do something extraordinary with your life today. Will you invest in yourself? It's the greatest investment that you're ever going to make in life. Who could you be in life? And who could you be with a coach? I'm the founder of Designing Champions Coaching, and I'd like to personally coach you to 10x your life. I'll get you to the top so that you can experience all the success and significance that comes with life at the top and all that fulfillment. You got to ask yourself, are you where you want to be in life? There's more in you, you know there is, and I'll help you eliminate the feeling of overwhelm, overcome your perceived limitations, and maximize your potential so that you can live the life of your personal dreams. And as your personal coach, I know that you don't want to wait years for more personal advancement. That's why we're going to accelerate your growth. Hey, listen, if you're new to coaching or you just kind of want to step your foot into a little bit of success before total life transformation and coaching, I'm giving you a link here to a warm-up where you can download the Designing Champions Coaching warm-up. It's the same warm-up, the same process that I use with senior executives, moms, parents, doctors, global stars, professional athletes, people who are trying to find the love of their life, people who want to leave a dead-end job to find work that they love, and, and some of the most influential people in the world use this. It works for them, and it will work for you. You know, who could you be with a coach? I, I, I know you got real far in life because you're the person watching this, this video. And, and you got here and you should feel proud about getting there in life. I'm going to get you up here. We'll do that together because here's my commitment to you. I will get you 10 times further, 10 times faster in life. Because this is much more than, you know, it's different than reading some books or taking some courses online or at a school. This is a real skill set from a real champion's coach with a real champion's curriculum to get you to your promised land. And I will get you there. And to start, I'm giving you access to the exclusive Designing Champions coaching process plus a free 30-minute introductory complimentary session with yours truly. Hey, listen, don't hesitate on this. You, you ha you've been hesitating for far too long in life. When you hesitate, you remain stuck in your life because your brain's saying, well, I shouldn't do that or I got to do that. Just go. It's, you just got to make things happen for your life. You make your life happen. Nobody's going to come make it happen for you. And you owe it to yourself. You know you owe it to yourself to maximize your potential. There's so much more in you. Hey, listen, whether you personally know me or you're just seeing me for the first time, I will 10x your life because I'm all in on this kind of thing. I love helping people. So here's the, how it would look. One, you go to the link and you fill out that process the same as top executives, moms and dads, parents, school teachers, doctors, professional athletes, etc. And once you fill that out, then we'll have a phone call together to, you know, see how committed you are. And you can ask me questions about the coaching process and, and whether you like it and what, how far you want to jump in. And, and we'll determine how committed you are. Because honestly, I only work with people who are totally totally 100% committed to the process. Because if you're 90% committed or 50% committed or 99% committed, I just won't work with you. That's not trying to be mean. It's just I know how the coaching process works. And, and if you're 95% in, then I don't want to get four months down the road and waste your time. I would rather work with people who are 100% in. And, and if you're 95% in, it, it will only work some for you. Uh, it'll get you further than where you're at, but I still have a reputation in my you know, coaching to get people all the way to the top so that they can become a champion in life and experience all that. And, and if that's you, then fill out that process, get on the phone with me, and then the third step is I'll show you what it looks like and we'll begin the process of changing your life to exactly where you want to go. And uh, whether that's as a parent, you want to be the, an awesome parent, you want to be a professional athlete, you want to go from millions to billions, you want to start your business, you want to take your small business to add streams of revenue, you want more fulfillment and satisfaction in your life. The question you have to ask yourself today is, 
who could I be? Now, who could I be with a coach? I'll tell you, you'll be a champion in life at 10x levels with total life transformation. Today is your day and now is your time.